championship. There you go, man. You hit it right on the head. Listen, before we go to break, reading over your resume, this was incredible, right? I love Roadhouse, the movie, and I've always been a huge Jeff Healy band fan. Just huge. But me personally, as a music fan, which I am, I always felt like Jeff Healy never got a lot of love, right? And I was amazed yeah. that you were involved in, you know, co-authoring the book um, about the Jeff Healy drummer. band, right? Yes, I wrote it with his drummer, who became a very good friend of mine. Um, and unfortunately, I mean, you're not going to believe this. Um, he passed away this year, and he passed away, um, I believe... You know, he, Lanny Poffo passed away first and, and on this guy's birthday. And then Tom Steven passed away like a week later. And it was like Lanny Poffo and I were good friends. And then superstar Billy Graham passed away. Then the Iron Sheik passed away. So, you know, I've lost all these people I was quite close to this year. And I guess... Now, when I hear about the Jeff Healy band, it was always informed by Jeff Healy's untimely passing. Now it's mixed in with my feelings about Tom Stevens' un untimely passing as well. I got it. Well, but you're right. You're, you're right. Jeff Healy did not get the love he deserved. I mean, he he was one of the great, you know, blues rockers and um, people. They may have seen Roadhouse, they may have heard a song or two, but in terms of raw talent, I don't think, especially in the United States, in Canada, he's far better known. But in the U.S., he should be, you know, one of the icons, and I, I don't think they ever got that far. I totally agree, and again, huge fan of his, and I, I'm going to buy that book now because I'm just, I was just amazed. Um, what made you get into writing about that book, though? Because it not saying it's odd, Keith. I'm just saying it's it's not quite mainstream. So what no, made no, you decide? No, it, it, it was circumstance. Um, I had done a book in 2010 about the death of John Lennon. And um, Tom Steven, the drummer from the Jeff Healy band, had read that book. And he asked around, and it turns out we had... Like, you know, three, three degrees of separation, we were removed from each other. So a friend of mine who was a friend of an associate of his, you know, they, they communicated somehow. And he and I ended up meeting up in New York. And then, you know, we discussed, I was nervous because I was afraid the book wouldn't get published. And I don't take money from people if I can't guarantee them that their product will be published. Uh, but we worked something out and the book did end up being published. And um, it's, it's not just a story about the Jeff Healy band. I feel it's a story about every band. And, you know, maybe it's a little bit like any entertainment form, including the wrestling business. You know, Tom said when they weren't making money and when they were just struggling, they were brothers and then fame hit and money came in and new people came into their lives and people were pulling them in different directions and the brotherhood just evaporated. And I guess that's the story of rock and roll. Amazing. Couldn't agree more.